So you guys have probably noticed that I've started mixing calisthenics and weightlifting, going more for a hybrid approach. After only training calisthenics for about three or four years and also mixing weighted calisthenics in that too, eventually you're gonna get a point where you wanna kinda of change up and mix around your fitness goals, especially if you're given more access to things like a gym, or maybe you get really good at calisthenics and you wanna kinda of mix things up. So in this video, I wanna share with you tips and advice on how you can actually start implementing weightlifting with calisthenics in the most efficient and effective way possible. Before we get into that, I do wanna mention that I've also started one-to-one -one fitness coaching online. So if you need more help implementing these concepts in which I'm gonna talk about, or maybe constructing your own personal routine on how you can do it too, click the link down below to where we'll actually get on a call and then go over some of your fitness goals and see where we can help you out with, all right? I'll leave the link down below. First things first, let's talk about statics and isometric training. I feel statics aren't as popular as what they used to be in regards to people training it. But when I talk about statics, I'm talking about handstand, front lever, back lever, planche, all the basic skill moves like that. And then from there you can derive all the other advanced stuff if you want to. But those are pretty much the foundation and the basics. So how do you mix that with weightlifting or even like a combination of the two? Well, the point is, is that you can always train statics. Even a bodybuilder can train static training. And the way you do it is by separating your reps from your isometrics. I've done this early on and back when I was solely doing calisthenics, I've always went with this approach. You train your isometrics first and then from there you get into your reps and sets. Whenever you try to mix in isometric training kind of in your workout routine with your reps and sets or maybe even after your workout routine, you're not gonna have the full max capability of being able to hold the isometric in the most efficient way possible because you're too fatigued. So you have to treat isometric training like literally skill training, it's called skill training, but you gotta treat it like it's another thing, like it's totally separate from your hypertrophy or your strength building, depending on what it is. So with handstands, for example, for most people, it's not gonna be a strength issue, it's gonna be more of a technical issue of balance or just learning the skill in itself. But if you're training for planche or maybe front lever, that's more of a strength sort of thing, not necessarily technical or balance or anything like that. So whether it be technical or even strength, you still wanna approach it the same way and train at the beginning of the workout before you get into your reps and sets. And like I said, even if you weren't doing calisthenics at all, anybody can learn a handstand. Anybody can learn how to do a front lever. They just have to prioritize it at the forefront of their routine. Speaking of prioritization, my next tip is that you have to prioritize which strength curve is more important to you. So we have relative strength, which is gonna be more on the calisthenic side, being good with your own body weight and being able to move through space effectively. Or we have our absolute strength, being able to move external force as effectively and efficiently as possible. So bench press, planche push-up, lat pull-down, pull-ups, weighted squat, which is like weighted calisthenics or pistol squat. Which one are more aligned to your goals? And that's also why you need to have goals before you actually construct some sort of program because you gotta know what you want. That's what a whole program is meant for, is by a systematic plan to hit your goals. So do you wanna get stronger at bench press more than you do planche? Then what should you do? You should do maybe your statics first if you wanna do that. And then from there, you should do your bench press first. But let's say you wanna prioritize more calisthenics, more so than weightlifting, then you're gonna treat weightlifting almost like an afterthought. You're gonna prioritize your relative strength first, and then from there, once you're done with that, then that's when you do your weightlifting, your machines, your isolations, whatever you have to do. What I would say is that if you're really prioritizing calisthenics, it's best to always put that first before actually the weightlifting stuff. And that's because, once again, the fatigue is a real thing. It's gonna be a lot harder to do a planche progression, whether it be the dynamic push-up or even some sort of pull-up progression after you've done lat pull-downs, after you've done bench press or whatever. So the way I've always done it is that I kinda treat my calisthenics first, and then from there I do my weightlifting after. But prioritize which one's more important to you. Tip number three is to do weighted calisthenics. Weighted calisthenics is if weightlifting and calisthenics had a baby. So you're getting literally the best of both. You're getting the effects of being able to build your relative strength, but also you're building a lot more strength, you're building a lot more muscle, and you're kind of building some absolute strength in there too. It's a perfect hybrid of the two. And if we're talking in regards to like a true hybrid, then if you're not having weighted calisthenics within your routine, then you are severely, severely doing yourself a disservice. 
So weighted pull-ups, weighted squats, weighted push-ups. I never really like weighted push-ups because of the setup, but weighted pull-ups and weighted squats are my bread and butter. Weighted dips even too, if you're, if you're into doing dips. I don't do heavy weighted dips anymore, as I mentioned before, but if you wanna do weighted dips, all that stuff should be an integral part of any good routine that has a hybrid approach to it. If you're not doing weighted calisthenics, like I said, you're doing yourself a disservice. Start doing it right now. Also, you wanna superset. So you wanna superset the strength curves. I did this before in a workout vlog in which I just posted. What we did was bench press because I was prioritizing that strength curve in the workout. And then from there, I would do a drop set or a super set with like a push-up exercise that kind of worked the same muscle group, but not really. It was more of an upper chest focused push-up. But that's an example of what you can do. And if you have the work capacity and if you're advanced enough to actually implement this in a routine, it's amazing, guys. So like I said, bench press, super set the push-ups, you can do shoulder press, superset the handstand push-ups, or actually, it's probably more smarter if you do handstand push-ups, superset to like a shoulder press. I've done that many times too. Another one that I love too is heavy lat pull-downs, superset into bodyweight pull-ups. So superset the two strength curves so that you can kind of get the best of both and also get a high, a high amount of volume while you do, do that too, especially if you do that for three or four sets, that's definitely gonna go a long way. All right guys, so implement all these tips if you want more of a hybrid approach to your routine and to utilize both strength curves. Once again, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one fitness coaching now and I would love for you to actually hop on and be one of my clients. So go ahead and click the link down below if you want more help. Not only more help, but also more accountability, whether it be nutrition or actually making sure you're completing your workouts in order to reach your fitness goals. And also you have direct access to me. If you have any questions outside of just fitness, but absolutely anything, Right? We can talk about dating, we can talk about different habits in regards to helping you reach your fitness goals even higher. I will leave a link down below. You guys check it out. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.